Is the beautiful packaging that the products were sent to me in and I'm just gonna show you guys what exactly it looked like when I opened it up it included a pamphlet a very detailed pamphlet that explained what the brand is all the ingredients that you may not know about and what it is what they do it's just very detailed and I appreciated that very much As for the products, I was sent three products, a shampoo, a conditioner, and a hair and scalp oil. So the rosemary tea tree and vitamin shampoo guarantees to cleanse, strengthen, moisturize, and protect your hair. The hair and scalp oil guarantees to repair hair follicles, nourish the scalp, and seal in moisture. Last but not least, the mango, avocado, and blueberry seed conditioner guarantees to moisturize, strengthen, repair, and grow your hair. And all of these products are vegan and cruelty-free. No PEGs, dyes, artificial fragrances, parabens, or sulfates. So, let's get started. I'm starting on Dirty Day 7 hair as usual and I'm going to separate my hair into two halves down the middle so I can start on one section. I'm doing everything in the sink today so I'm going to get it wet in the sink and then start with the shampooing. So this is what the shampoo looks like. I'm going to show you guys the consistency because it shocked me my entire life. I'm going to save my reviews for the end, but you guys can see my reaction to the shampoo, right? <laughs> I made sure to bring the lather all the way down my strands to the very end. Then I just pop back under the sink and rinse it all out. And I just repeat the steps on the other half of my head. This is what my hair looks like with absolutely no product. My hair is getting long, y'all. <laughs> So this is me after I finished putting deep conditioner in my hair. I use Diva Curls deep conditioner. 
So I'm gonna sit under the dryer for about 45 minutes and then I'll be back. So now that I'm done deep conditioning and my hair feels great, we can move on to the conditioner. So with this conditioner, I'm telling y'all it smelled so familiar to me, but I couldn't pinpoint where I've smelled it before. But it smelled so good, you guys. So first things first, I need to rinse out my deep conditioner, which I just did. And then I'm gonna start on a subsection. So I'm, you see here, I'm trying to <laughs> pump the conditioner out, but the one I got was super thick. I'm gonna explain it at the end, but I had a little bit of trouble pumping this stuff out because it was so thick. And I wanted to do a side part today, so I'm just parting my hair for my wash and go. Now on to this wash and go. You guys already know I work in small subsections, and I'm starting on this small one. I applied just a tad bit of the Eden Body Works Natural Curl Finding Cream. I really don't think I needed it, but just for safe measure, I applied that. And then I applied the hair and scalp oil over the top to seal in all of that moisture. Smoothed it through with my Denman brush to make sure everything is nicely detangled and then I shingled.
So this is my hair right after I finished. I'm going to show you guys the back and the side so you guys can really see what it looked like. I was very hopeful, y'all. Very, very, very hopeful. You guys can see <laughs> that this wash and go is going to be great. So this is what my hair is looking like. This is the next day. I washed my hair on Friday. I'm filming this on Saturday. This is what my hair is looking like, y'all. I am utterly, for the most part, very satisfied. Very, very, very satisfied with my hair. It's very fluffy. It's very moisturized. And I'm satisfied. Y'all know that I'm getting into the whole no gel thing. So overall, I'm very happy. So we're gonna get into these products. I'm gonna give you guys the 411 on how I felt these products were. And yeah. So first off, the shampoo. Um, first things first, I want to say y'all know me by now. Well, some of y'all do. If you're new here, hello, hit the subscribe button. Anyway, I love shampoos that sud up. I love sudsy shampoos. I just do. And this shampoo right here, it set it up so well. The consistency, you can even see me, you see how it like shakes. The consistency is so different from any shampoo I think I've ever used. The only similarity I think as far as texture I can think of is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. It comes in a bottle and it's dark. It's almost like that's consistency, but it's still more, it's, it's, it's still more liquidy than even that, I think. But I was very surprised. Honestly, did not know what to, what to expect from this when I used it. The consistency is so liquidy that I, instead of just putting it in my hand and putting it in my hair, I just put it directly on my scalp and it worked great. Barely had to use any and it covered the whole half of my head. The only thing I'd say, I would change the nozzle because I think it will be really convenient to be able to just put it directly on my scalp and just go about my business. But it made my hair feel clean without feeling stripped. And y'all know how I feel about that too. I don't mind that squeaky clean feeling because I just like my hair to feel clean. That's just me. But this one didn't leave my hair feeling like that. But it, it felt clean, but it still felt moisturized. So if you guys are looking for a shampoo that's not gonna completely strip out everything, this could be a good option for you. So we're gonna rate these from one to five, one being subpar and five being just great. Nothing's wrong with it at all. And I'm going to rate this a four just because of the nozzle. I really think this would be good with a nozzle that I could just directly put on my scalp. That's just my opinion, but this is this is pretty good shampoo. I'm definitely gonna use this again on my next wash day. Next product that I used during my wash routine was the Mango Avocado and Blueberry Seed Conditioner. I just wanna put a disclaimer out there before I started talking about it. The brand did email me and let me know that the batch I got was a little bit thicker than what they normally make it. Um, I didn't really have a problem with it when I used it, to be completely honest with you. The thickness was great for me, it was great for my hair. Um, so for those of you that do, if you do purchase this, just letting you know that the batch I got was a little bit thicker. So the batch you'll get probably won't be as thick. I enjoyed the thickness, but that's just me. And that's also why, if you saw, I had kind of trouble pumping in the beginning. Yeah, that's why. One thing I did notice when I put this on my hair, it went into my hair and it was almost like I couldn't even see anything. But I, I, it felt moisturized, but I'm used to putting product on my hair and seeing the product. I put this product on my hair and I didn't see anything. I was just like, where'd the product go? Like. I'm putting it on my hair, I don't see anything, where's the product? It was like going into my strands and like moisture, I... It was really, really moisturizing. It smells so good. I can't explain the smell. It smells familiar and maybe it's the, 
it might be the avocado maybe or the blueberry seed i'm not sure what either of those smell like i just know products use those two specifically a lot i just can't put my finger on why it smells so familiar i also wanted to point out i know i showed it in the video they name all of their ingredients on the back of the bottle and the fact that like I mean, this it's, it's a good amount of ingredients, but it's not like most products. Most products you see like a, a whole essay worth of ingredients. You're just like, what is that? What is this? What is that? What? What? I was also told that I could rinse 70 to 80% of this out and use and leave the rest as a leave-in. To be completely honest, I left this in my hair as a leave-in completely. I didn't rinse anything out. I put the condition this conditioner in and i put a tad bit of the eden body works natural curl defining cream because in the video i was really trying to figure out if i wanted to use another product with the this conditioner i was trying to figure it out and i was like i'll just wait until i put it on my hair i'll see how my hair is working with it and for a good couple of minutes i was considering not adding anything to this because it was moisturizing enough but i ended up using a dollop you, you saw barely any of the eden body work stuff so i'm definitely going to experiment with this some more and see what i can get out of it so my ranking for this conditioner one to five i think i'd give it like a three just because I wasn't wowed like I was with the shampoo. The shampoo, you know, met all of my, like, like I'm a, like I'm a, you know, critic or something, met all of my standards as far as what I look for in a shampoo, just based on what I like, which is suds and all this stuff. This one met my requirements for like thickness. I love thick products and moisture. Moisture, thickness and moisture, both of these are really great. Um, but I wasn't like, oh my God about it, you know, but it's really, really good. You should definitely give it a try. Definitely going to use all of this up as well. And the last product I was sent was their hair and scalp oil. It promises to repair hair follicles, nourish the scalp and seal in moisture. So this one I put on top of my Eden Body Works and my the conditioner that they sent me. I put it on top as a sealant. I didn't put anything on my scalp. Haven't used it on my scalp yet. We'll see how that goes. But it's mainly used for the hair strands to seal in the moisture. You can use it on your scalp, but I haven't done that yet. We'll have to see. This definitely sealed in the moisture for me. I can definitely say, honestly, that's probably why my hair is so moisturized now because I sealed everything I put in my hair with this oil. It's so light. I'm not used to, I'm used to really heavy oils. This is a very light oil. Again, haven't used it on my scalp, so I don't know how it feels on the scalp yet, but it's very light. I was very surprised. You know, some oils I use to seal my hair with, leaves my hair feeling so oily. Like I would give people hugs and they would have to wipe their face because of all the oil but this one didn't do that for me. It sealed everything in, did its job without all the hassle. I know lots of oils tend to have a smell to it, like the wild growth oil that I love to use has a smell, honey. But this stuff didn't doesn't really have that much of a smell, so it's not like overpowering or overbearing or anything like that. So I would rank this from one to five. I would also rank it about a three. Um, I'm not super wowed by it, but it definitely, definitely did the job for me. Definitely did the job. So now that all the products have been reviewed, I'm going to give them a final rating based on Rissa's <laughs> judgment from one to five, just to give you guys a basis on what I feel, taking all the pros, all the cons considered. I'm going to give this brand a four out of five. Definitely wowed by the shampoo. Definitely find the hair and scalp oil come very, very, very convenient and something I'm definitely gonna use within my next wash days, definitely, until I run out and want to get more. All of the products are handmade. And hold on one second, let me show you. 
the products are vegan and cruelty free and they're handmade it says 100 handmade with love um, on all of the bottles so that's why i'm giving them a four out of five they explain to you all the ingredients that are in there you can understand what you're putting on your hair the ingredients are very natural i don't feel like my hair is heavy and overall i'm just very 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 satisfied there's no fragrances no parabens no sulfates just all natural and i can tell that it's all natural and the ingredients are great because of how my hair reacted to them you guys know what i mean when you when you have when you use a product that has a lot of chemicals and you know maybe not the best ingredients for your hair your hair will let you know that something is wrong okay i listen to my hair a lot when i'm doing when i'm trying new products when i do try new products because i don't try new products a lot when I do try new products, my hair will talk to me and tell me what is what's going on. And based on what the results are, it's clear to see this brand is pretty good. So if you guys want to try them out, they gave me a discount code to use. The discount code is RISA, simply RISA in all caps and you'll get a 30% off discount on your entire purchase. It'll be down below in the description box if you want to try them out. At least look at their website and look to see what they have to offer. They explain everything in so much detail and a lot of brands don't do that, but they explain every single step, every just, and I just appreciate that. I really appreciate when a brand is open enough to be able to disclose you know everything that they're doing to give you the product you know what i'm saying they are a new and upcoming brand they debuted may 1st and i'm filming this on may 3rd so definitely go check them out check their instagram out check their page out everything's gonna be down below in the description box for you guys to check out because i'm going to be using all these products up and now I have a new brand to add to my list of brands that I trust and that I enjoy. And I definitely can't wait to experiment more with these products to make more videos about it, to show you guys a little bit more about what I've learned from using them, X, Y, and Z. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. I trust that you guys have already clicked the like button, that you guys have already subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, those of you that have, hello. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the kind comments, all the kind words. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post more than I post on here post updates, post things about my life that's going on. I ask you guys questions about what you guys want to see. So I'm very active on there too. But I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>